Yeah, look, it is a, uh, a huge journey that you do take, and well, this horse has probably been two years in the planning. And it is, you know, once the entries close at the end of August, there's a lot of water to go under the bridge. Yeah, look, it's a uh, very difficult time and one that can be uh, very nerve-wracking for owners, I'm sure, as they get closer to the, the actual Melbourne Cup. You might start off at 40 and get to 30 and, you know, it's very hard if we're on the precipice that, you know, you do miss out. There's a, a fine line with those horses and, um, yeah, hopefully we're, we're not in that uh, situation this year. First week of October, Turnbull Day can be a very uh, pivotal time in a horse's preparation. There's a lot more still to come after that, but uh, obviously the Bark Cummings is a, a fully qualified race for the Cup and the Turnbulls on the same day. Those sort of horses that are up and racing well, then it's a pretty good guide where you're going uh, forward into the Melbourne Cup Carnival. You never know till you get there on the day and um, you know, there's so much things that have to go right uh, you know, leading into that first Tuesday in November. It's a real test of character and um, obviously on the day if, if you get a couple where you've done a good job. Getting the horses to compete at their optimum level is the, the name of the game and um, yeah, that's another ball game in itself, the actual race. At the end of the day, winning it for the for the owners and your staff who haven't uh, been a part of a uh, Melbourne Cup win team uh, or, or even that may not have had a runner. A lot of my staff have never had a runner in the Melbourne Cup so the journey they go on as well, you taking them on is uh, something that will stand them in good stead for the rest of their lives and something they can tell their children and grandchildren and um, and that's what the owners get out of it as well. As, you know, it's been long life dreams to win a Melbourne Cup and uh, when it does come to a fruition it's, uh, yeah, it's the most unbelievable feeling that uh, I could ever uh, say I've been experiencing. Uh, relief, accomplishment, proud and you do leave a you know probably a legacy for your family. Being in it yourself isn't bad but it's years down the track that um, you know your kids and your grandkids you can say dad trained or your grandfather trained a Melbourne Cup winner you know you're a part of uh, Australian folklore and history and that'll never uh, be taken away and the doors did open a fair bit once uh, you, you do win the Melbourne Cup and that's not only you know the financial gains that you do get from the, you know one of the richest races in the world is uh, yeah, that's an added bonus.